Chapter 26. It was impossible to listen to such stories empty handed. As soon as Grayson started one, Maniac would reach into one of the equipment bags and pull out a ball or a bat or a catcher's mitt, sniffing the scuffed horse hide aroma of the ball, rippling the fingertips over the red stitching. It's hard to say how these things can make list listening go better, but they do. And for Maniac, they did. And of course, as happens with baseball, one thing led to another, and pretty soon the two of them were tossing a ball back and forth. And then they were outside where the throws could be longer, where you could play pepper on the outfield grass of the Legion field, the old man pitching, the kid tapping grounders, where you could shag fungos, the old man popping high flyers, the kid chasing them down. And now the stories were mixed with instruction, the grizzled rickety coot, showing the kid how to spray liners to the opposite field, how to get a jump on a long fly even before the batter hits it, how to throw the curveball, stiff, crooked fingers that grab clumsily with crimpet wrappers curled naturally around the shape of a baseball. With a ball in his hand, the park handyman became a professor. As to the art of pitching, of course, the old man could show and tell, but he could no longer do, except for one pitch, the only one left in his repertoire from the old days. He called it the stop ball, and it nearly drove Maniac goofy. The old man claimed he discovered the stop ball one day down in the Texas League and that he was long gone from baseball when he perfected it. Unlike most pitches, the stop ball involved no element of surprise. On the contrary, the man would always announce it. Okay, he'd call from the mound. Here she comes. Now keep an eye on her because she's going to float on up there, and just about the time she's over the plate, she's going to stop. Now, no one else ever hit it, so don't you go getting upset if you don't either. It's no shame to whiff on the stop ball, and then he'd throw it. Well, of course, Maniac knew that most, if not all, of that was Blarney, and that just to make sure, he watched the ball extra carefully. There sure didn't seem to be anything unusual about it. Not at first, anyway, but as the ball came closer, it did somehow seem to get more and more peculiar. By the time it reached the plate, it might just as well have stopped because Maniac never knew if he was swinging at the old man's pitch or at a speech. Whatever, in weeks of trying, he never hit one out of the infield. It was October. The trees rimming the outfield were flaunting their colors. The kid and the geezer baseball their lunchtimes away and the after dinner times and weekends. And every night as the old man left for his room at the Y, he would grouse, you ought to go to school. And one night, the kid said back, I do. And that's how the old man found out what the kid was doing with his mornings. He had noticed the books before, rows and piles of them that kept growing, but there being books, he didn't think much of it. Now, the kid tells him, you know the money you give, you give me? Each morning, he gave the kid 50 cents or a dollar to get himself some crippets. Well, I take it up to the library. Right inside the door, they have these books they're selling cases them old books they don't want anymore they only cost five or ten cents a piece he pointed the piles i buy them he showed them to the old man ancient back broken math books flaking travel books warped spellers mangled mysteries biographies music books astronomy books cookbooks what's the matter said the old man can't you make up your mind what kind you want the kid laughed i want them all he threw his hands out i'm learning everything he opened one of the books. Look, geometry, triangles. Okay, isosceles triangles. These two legs, they look equal to you? The man squinted. He nodded. Okay, but can you prove it? The old man studied the triangle for a full minute. If I had a ruler, maybe. No ruler. The old man sighed. Guess I give up. So the kid proved it. Absolutely dead center proved it. Two days later, while playing Pepper in the Legion infield, the old man said to the kid, so why don't you go ahead and teach me how to read? <laughs>